Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement a function which allows us to dynamically generate this foliage instances on the planet surface. Now as you can see here, we have foliage all around the planet like this. So if I start playing on my character, you can see we have foliage and it looks like this and they have some kind of uh, some amount of uh, randomization look in scale and also they have a random rotation as well but still this is a very uh, primary stage the foliage system is later on we will be implementing this to have many different foliage types and also have some clustering and different foliages will be in different height levels we will look into things like that uh, but this is the first step so yeah let's see how to do this today before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done to the date there are 1800 videos and for each video you can access project files once you become a member in the patron page and you can download anything without a limit so i'll leave the link in description below feel free to check it out and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so let me open up my planet blueprint first and let's get started by adding a function with a custom event i'll call it spawn foliage so at the moment i'm not worried about having multiple foliage types or rules of spawning or anything i just need to spawn some foliages first then later on we will build upon that so here yeah, spawn foliage so how do i get the points that i want to spawn foliage so i think i can get the dynamic mesh component and get dynamic mesh and from this we can get the vertex count so we can simply run a for loop so how practical this method that i am currently build developing is depends on how many polygons you have how many vertices you have in the planet but this is only the beginning so later on we will look into how to make the system scalable for now we have to start somewhere so i'm going to start in the most basic way possible later on maybe we can integrate the foliage spawning with the lod system itself okay so now We need another reference with the dynamic mesh and we can get vertex position. This would be the vertex ID. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure if the vertex vertices are always starting from zero and going up to the vertex count but let's see let's print and print if this is is valid index so if i always get true that means the vertices ids are indeed starting from zero and go up to vertex count minus one Oof. okay so call in editor enabled and i think when i bake this mesh i get around twenty six thousand vertices so this might freeze the editor so or oh, crash it altogether but let's see okay i got true but i don't think i got all twenty six thousand types let's do this it's our branch and print the index oh yeah 
I did got 26,000 okay so everything is working as intended so far so the next step is now that I have a way to access the word exposition I want to spawn foliage on these points randomly so for that oh, before I need a foliage type so I think I have enabled uh, I have a foliage type in my project which is tree yeah this one this is a foliage type static mesh foliage foliage instance to static mesh foliage type instance to static mesh okay now I'll add a variable I created some categories for variables so that I can keep this more organized and here let's add foliage I'll just call it foliage type and what's the data type foliage type instance to static mesh static mesh okay and for now it's just one variable later on we might have to change this into a array for now one is enough and now before i spawn um, foliage instances we need to add this to our planet so for that here I'll get the foliage type and give a reference and let's collapse this to a function. I'll call this initialize foliage component. Oh, initialize foliage component okay foliage type right now what i want to do is uh, i have the foliage type get static no static mesh wait why can't i access it hmm. oh it's just get mesh okay so i'll add instance static mesh component and then so let's promote this to a variable i'll call it ism for edge and then we can set static mesh with the static mesh of the given foliage type so if i call this function for a second time we need to first check if i already have this uh, ism foliage component already added if not if we don't have it that means if not valid we need to create it otherwise we can simply we don't really have to create it okay now let's go back here now we can get the ism foliage um well, let's have a branch first and let's have a random boolean so we will randomly select points and then we can add instance so but this location we get the location 3d position of uh, of a mesh vertex in mesh local space so in our planet this is the root component so in order to get the global space we will have to get this and add, add the location to that so we will have the location in global space also we will need to set rotation as well but for now i'll leave it as zero and 
and I'll mark it as world space. Okay, this might freeze, but let's try. So for each, see now we good. <laughs> Actually, it didn't freeze. Nice, but as I said, the rotation is wrong because rotation is zero zero, so it's always facing global Z axis. So to fix that. Uh, uh, we can do something like this. Find look at rotation from the center of the planet to this point. By compile and spawn for it. Now there should be no, still not correct. Oh, wait a second. We can. So, this is in local space position. If I normalize this, I'm not sure if I have to normalize. And then make rotation from a z axis. Let's try now. Yeah, now we got. Oh. Right. Now we could trace in our planet. Not much, but we got something. Okay, what's next? One thing you may have noticed is uh, the trees always have the same rotation. They don't have a locate uh, rotation variation or a scale variation. So we need to randomize the scale a little bit and rotation a little bit so we can get the foliage type and scale. no but for now let's just do something like this multiply one 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 here let's convert this to a float random float in range between one and one point five so we will have different sized trees as for the rotation randomization i think we can let's add a scene home no we have this load point so no let's leave it i'll add the same component this is just to help me with the calculations i'll call it calprot calculation root and then i'll add another same component under that i'll call it calc wait calc child so now what i'm going to do is i have this location and rotation so let's get Calc root set word locate. No, not just location and rotation. Location and rotation. This is the location and this is the rotation. And then I'm gonna get the calc child and set relative rotation. And here I'm only going to randomize the your rotation. It would mean yeah and done um, but no plot in range zero and let's say 360 now i'll get the cap child get location can i get the transfer it will transfer oh for that we need uh, execution so get world location location is actually already fine but I'll use that also here and get uh, rotation and use it. Let's see if I'm correct. Now, first point for the edge. See, now we have random rotations in this trace. Alright, great. Now we go trace with some random rotation and also some location variations. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. So now we have a way to 
add foliage or spawn foliage in the level but it's not perfect i know that so we will continue to uh, make the system more detailed in future so that we will have better more realistic looking more believable looking foliage on the planet all right thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye